Hi everyone, the new Microsoft Teams is here, is slightly changed. Something that you should worry about is how you can troubleshoot your service or app. In fact, even if you are a developer or an IT pro, is absolutely useful monitor and troubleshoot your custom app or service that extend Microsoft Teams. Having this scenario, I'll show you how you can turn on and enable the dev toolbar in Microsoft Teams, which is absolutely important to troubleshoot and monitor your application. So let me show you every step to have this capability turned on in the new Microsoft Teams client. All right, let's go. Here we go, I have the new Microsoft Teams client open. Before to start, let me show you the system try icon that I have here of Teams because the app is open, of course. If I click with the right button of my mouse, I can see currently three options. I have open, collect support files, and finally quit. What I'm going to do now is quit and exit from Microsoft Teams because I'll show you what to do to turn on and enable the troubleshooting capability enabling the dev toolbar in Microsoft Teams. First of all, what you have to keep in mind is this path. So we can use this path to open the right folder where we are going to create a config file. Alternatively, what you can do here is open Windows Explorer and let me drive you manually where we have to go. Let me go on C and now here I'm going to open users. You have to select the user, the current user that you are using, this one for me. And now let's go on app data. Here I will open local and then finally packages. All right, so we can go forward by selecting uh, MS Teams and there is this number next to the name. Now that we are in this folder, we can move further by going on local cache and finally Microsoft and Microsoft Teams. So if I go in a backgrounds here, you can find all storage backgrounds and use it by Microsoft Teams. But this is not the topic of our video. So let me create now a file. I'm going to create a JSON file which will enable the dev toolbar in Microsoft Teams. All right, let's create now a new file. Let me click on new and going to create a new file txt. We have to call this configuration and then dot JSON, of course. All right, now I can open this, this file. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, but it's up to you which one you want to use as editor. And then what we have to paste is this thing. Open coded brackets, core slash that menu enable it, equal true, and close curly brackets. Let's do it. Let me add this, let me save it. I'm going to close Visual Studio Code now. And now that I added this file, configuration.json, theoretically I can open Microsoft Teams again. So let me open the new Microsoft Teams app. And now when I go in the system try icon, I should have more option. So let's go in the system try. I have here the Teams icon, right click, and here we go. I have engineering tools now it seems that I have more option. I can see the app version, I have the Edge tool. So if you are developing an iframe in Microsoft Teams with another app, for example, you can open this console so you can monitor everything. There is the profile, for example. You can see the latest crash that Microsoft Teams got, window details, the bug meet now, Toast, Toast notification, life cycle, then there is a slim curve, status, clouds, settings. What is really important here is open dev tools. 
Now here that I'm opening the DevTools, I'm basically monitoring and troubleshooting Microsoft Teams. If you have a personal app or another app integrated and installed in Teams, you can check now and monitor this app by using the Dev tool. All right, I hope that this was useful. All right, we have seen a tip in the new Microsoft Teams client. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this capability. All right, I hope to see you next time. Bye.